If you were given the chance to start your life over at age 10 right now, but still retain all of your current knowledge and memories, would you? Why or why not? Yes. Staying in shape, picking a better path in college, skipping some bad decisions, picking up on lost opportunities. There are a ton of minor mistakes that built up over time. No, I don't have the patience to grind those levels again. I'd definitely take the chance. Choose different hobbies and just have a different outcome on life today. Oh, and invest in some companies I know will get it big. Edit, 9 hours later rip my inbox edit 2. I assumed it was time travel based because of if I were to wake up tomorrow as a 10 year old, well, I'd have a little trouble getting around driving places without getting pulled over, paying rent would be difficult, and as a 30 year old man convincing my parents that I got brain surgery into some 10 year old's body. Yes. I'd have another 12 years with my dad again. If I have to go through everything else all over again to have him back, I would. I ask this question because it's one I think about often. At age 12 I had a blood clot in my spinal cord. There was no apparent cause. I was a relatively healthy young boy. It's been 8 years now and I haven't walked since. I think a lot about the things I would change if I could start over and prevent it from happening. My life would be so different. Easy. If you have a spouse or kids, don't do it because your family will never be the same or rather, has a super low chance to be the same. If you are alone with no higher attachments other than your parents' friends, then it's a go. I have lots of regrets, but I'm also extremely happy with my life now. If I could live things over again, make fewer mistakes, and still end up with the same wonderful woman and kids, then maybe. Giving it all up to try again? No thanks. So many mistakes to fix in the teenage years. Take me back. Edit, didn't expect this to get big. Thanks everyone. Just a bit of advice, don't focus on your past mistakes, focus on how you improve your life from here on out. Absolutely, I would fix some of my mistakes, play sports, play in band. Also, there was a girl that I met in late middle school and as absolutely dumb as it sounds I still have a thing for her but I never told her and she vanished before I could do anything about it anyway, but still, I'd have loved to have had a chance with her. Also in general I would try to be a better person, I would try to not be the little shit I was. Oh and I wouldn't get fat. Before the birth of my daughter I would say yes. Now. Every single mistake in the past led to the conception and birth of the joy of my life. Not going to risk anything to accidentally erase her from existence. Edit, never watched about time, thanks for the recommendations guys will catch it ASAP. Edit 2, thanks for my first silver and gold. No, I won't. Check the replies here. A healthy diet, exercise, study or lost opportunities. Guys. Come on. You can do it today, too. You do not need a magical wand. Even if you can go, you will not do them. I would not go back to being 10. I am in a much better and stable position right now than I was when I just 10. I used to be sick all the time, I had the worst acne problem, people at school were extremely mean to me. Also, the entire puberty period sucked for me. I was overweight. My skin was dull, and my eating habits were the worst. So, thanks, but no thanks. Absolutely not. I'm not spending one ducking second inside a school ever again. No, as it would be extremely hard to make friends if you're so far ahead of them. All the top comments saying yes are completely ignoring the emotional costs. It was my answer for a long time too, I used to daydream about this. But I have cherished friends, a blossoming relationship and two younger siblings that wouldn't have been born yet and I would not find that sacrifice worthwhile. I'd also probably not be prepared for the loss of autonomy that comes with being 10 years old. 
I also imagine it would be quite lonely since I don't think other children and teens would be particularly enjoyable company. Though it would be nice to get a head start on my hobbies, graduate high school at 13, and make bank on stocks and Bitcoin. Of course, it would be easy to use your knowledge of the future to become wealthy. You know all the right companies to invest in. You know about Bitcoin before it becomes big. For me, the most frustrating thing would be having the mind of an adult and having to endure being treated like a child. Would definitely tough it out though. If I can look up the winning lottery numbers real quick, then yes. If not, I know who will get elected president and who won the Super Bowl last year. That should get me a pretty penny. And I would need to keep a lookout for a company called Uber, and then invest, invest, invest. Yes. Because I began to self-sabotage at 12 and now that I know the things I know I'll self-sabotage earlier. Duck me. I would if I didn't have a wife, children and friends that I care for dearly. They make every bad decision, every heartbreak, every health scare in 50 years completely worth it. Absolutely. So many decisions I would change. I would beat the crap out of my middle school bully first time he hit me. I would go with a different college degree. And I would definitely not be so shy about asking the girls out that I talked myself out of asking out. But in the end, I would be able to make more informed decisions. Nothing to lose there. Do I get to be 10 in the 1980s again or does it have to be present day? If I could go back to the 80s I'd be all over it, nowadays not so much. No. I probably wouldn't choose my children's father a second time. But those kids are perfect and all my mistakes leading up to them were totally worth it. 10, no 16, maybe. 18, yes. Absolutely I would start over. I'd get to see my dad again, and I'd also get to avoid the botched medical procedure I had that's pretty much ducked up my entire adult life. 1010 would start over if given the chance. Absolutely I would. I actually play this scenario out in my head all the time. It thrills me to think about going back to 10 years old with all the knowledge I have today because I could make something of myself and not make the same mistakes I've made later in life, I'm 22. I wouldn't be a disappointment. It would also be fun to write music lyrics of current songs or discuss college level information and blow people's minds. I also want to wear a bathing suit and not care about how I look because I developed an eating disorder at 11. God I wish I could go back. Wouldn't stop playing the guitar for that middle part of my life. Would have appreciated my mother more for another six years before she died. Would have started writing code earlier. Would have bought Bitcoin earlier. Still would have had to break my leg, become poor, work as a host in a restaurant, try and start up a business only for my friend and his dad to steal it. Still would have come back and gotten a job at my current company. Wouldn't have tried to date that one girl right before my wife and picked my wife first. Sell Bitcoin and live happily ever after with the remaining 40 plus years I've got left traveling with my wife. Definitely. All other obvious advantages aside, it would be a massive boon to my writing career to be able to put out novels as a 10 year old. Critics softball the duck out of preteen writers. Duck yes. I spent so much of my teenage years sitting around playing video games when I could have been actually learning useful skills. Also I'd know to ask her out before she got in her car to leave. Hell. Duckin. Yes. I don't die earlier right? Free extra years on this earth. Also would do shit right the second time around. Yes. My brain emotional intelligence development was really hampered by neglect emotional abuse growing up and I didn't know at the time because I had no way to compare it or prove it, and now it takes manual effort every day to learn how to be around people and to fight off the urge to be suicidal because it's so normal after years of training. No. 
because I'd feel that major crises happen because I failed to avert them or that because of changing history I'm directly responsible for the new crises I could not foresee. Either I fail to stop 911 and carry that guilt, or I succeed in stopping it and know that there was no 912 disaster before I meddled with the natural order. Either way, my selfish actions are the deciding factor in hundreds of deaths.